like to think of myself as a bit of a guacamole aficionado. But when I make it at home, let's just say I keep it simple. And one way to make sure that the avocado is ready, besides just by touching it and the color, you want to make sure it's not too green. And when you touch it, you want it to be soft, but not too soft. It's almost like right where your thumb meets your hand you want it to kind of you know push back a little bit and if the tip pops off like that that means it's good to go so just put your knife in so that you feel the seed on the inside and you'll see it'll stop for you and just kind of roll it all the way around twist it open and then you're gonna want to take your knife pop it in the center here and then just take your knife and slice it up like so and then you're going to want to grab a spoon and just turn it right out into the bowl. And you're going to do the same with both. And I like guacamole with a lot of avocado in it. And I like to chunk it right when it's in the avocado skin. And I just kind of divide it and weave it and cross it. Just put your spoon right at the point where it starts to get that beautiful bright green. You want to make sure you get all the good stuff out, all the good beefiness of the avocado. Now, once you get your avocado where you want it, it's time to open your favorite bottle of salsa. Now, I kind of like salsas that are a little bit more pureed for my guacamole, and then I like to take a few fresh tomatoes and chop them up and put them right in with my avocado and with my salsa. Get it to the chunky size that you want it. And everybody likes it a little bit differently. Some people like their guacamole pretty creamy and to not have too many chunks in it. That's about the consistency I like it. And I'm just gonna toss it right in with the rest. And I do it seeds and all. I like all, get all that good tomato. And then last but not least, I wanna give it a little bit of citrus flavor. So get yourself a lime and a good juicer. Pop it right in, right, mm, 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 mm. I love the smell of fresh squeezed lime. And of course you got to put in a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper. and some chopped up cilantro. I'm just gonna take the head and chop that right up. There we go, and take that and toss it right in. And then you're ready to mix it up. And kind of as you're tossing that up, you might want to just chunk those avocados up just ever so slightly. I think I need a little bit more avocado in here, so I'm going to take one more. And just add it in. and just go to town, kind of mushing that avocado up. A great way to keep your guacamole fresh is to just take that seed of the avocado, put it right into the guacamole, pop it into your fridge, and that'll keep it fresher longer. And then take the bowl that you're gonna put the guacamole into. and place that bowl right on top of the ice and that way your guacamole is gonna stay nice and chilled. Mm. 
I like supporting my guacamole habit, and it's a great way to send yourself south of the border.